My fellow Grenadians, Caracunians, Peter Martinicans all, as we gather with our loved ones to celebrate this very joyous season, I am reminded of the enduring spirit of our beautiful nation. Christmas is a time of hope, a time to reflect on our journey and an opportunity to look forward with renewed optimism. This year has presented its share of challenges, yet it has also shown the incredible resilience and strength of our community. In these times, it is more important than ever that we come together to support those among us who are less fortunate. Let us all extend the hand of kindness, share our blessings, and bring relief and comfort to those in need. I therefore urge each of you to embrace the true spirit of Christmas by showing love, empathy, and a human touch. Our actions, no matter how small, can make a significant difference in the lives of others. Let us all consider one another with compassion, understanding that together we are stronger and can overcome any obstacles. And also as we partake in the merriment of the season, it is my fervent hope that we have an incident-free holiday season. The recent upsurge in gun violence in our otherwise peaceful country is quite alarming. I encourage one and all to help to protect and preserve the tranquility of our beautiful country. Avoid conflict where you can and always strive to settle disputes amicably. We owe it to ourselves, our children, and the future generations will be influenced by our actions today. I therefore make a special appeal here to our young people and the males in particular. Be calm, my brothers, and exercise self-control at all times. The maturity of a man is not determined by the size of his ego, but by the level-headedness he displays, particularly in situations that could challenge his responsible demeanor. To my special constituents in St. George's Northwest, I wish you an abundance of blessings at this time of the year. I pray that the season is filled with goodwill, love, and laughter. And as we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, and as we look to the start of the new year, consider it a fresh sleet that allows us all to be influenced by the lessons of the past, but at the same time embrace the opportunities of the future. My brothers and sisters, across Grenada, Caracol, and Peter Martinique as well. As those in the diaspora, I wish you and your families a Merry Christmas and a bright and prosperous New Year. <laughs>